Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soulmagic 99 and today I'm here with my second pick up pile for the week and this is Are You Ever Going To Be Together? So you and the person you're thinking of, will you ever get back together? Obviously this is for people in separation and no contact possibly. So pile one for the rose quartz bracelet. <clears throat> pile two the chakra bracelet. And pile three the turquoise bracelet so pick your pile and we'll get started hello pile one you chose the rose quartz bracelet <clears throat> so we're going to look at how do you see each other initially so how does the mas your masculine see you we've got flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others so i feel he wants to go back to the flirtatious stage i don't know what happened between you and obviously this is a general reading I feel he wants to have, bring that light-hearted energy back in to your connection again. <clears throat> and maybe extend the olive branch with a little flirtation. But he's not sure how he will re be received. And he wants to get to know each other properly. He wants to really share himself with you and you share yourself with him. He really does want to deepen the bond between you. Okay. So how do you see him? <clears throat> You see the, him as your soulmate, okay? You feel this soulmate connection. You may be twin flames. You do feel this deep soul connection with this person. And you want that commitment. You want to make that commitment with him. You want to get to that next stage. So you're both on different pages right now. I mean, <clears throat> he's obviously at the stage he wants to be in that flirtatious energy. And you're wanting commitment. So it looks like a compromise needs to be reached at some point. But it doesn't mean to say this couldn't happen. Because he does want to get to know you. And you get to know him properly. So it's step by step, isn't it? <clears throat> so how do you see each other? So how does he see his feminine? He sees you as somebody who's very perceptive. Somebody that can see beneath the surface. You may have been able to tell things about him that he's not told you. You could be highly empathetic or highly intuitive. He sees you as somebody who's very patient but very determined person in your own life. And he feels that you're waiting on him. Okay, I'm not saying you are, but he's the energy. He feels you're waiting. But she's holding a beautiful butterfly. So I do feel you do believe that this connection isn't dead. <clears throat> so how else does he see you? He wants an equal relationship with you moving forward. He sees you as an equal to him in life. And he knows that you want a commitment. Okay, he's, he sensed that or maybe you've spoken about this before. But he knows it's what you're after. But I think he wants to come back in with that gentle flirtatious energy to start with. <clears throat> so how do you see your masculine? So he could be someone quite talented, maybe musically or talented in some way um, that you find appealing. But he could be a very stubborn person, very stuck in his ways. Okay. Uh, and maybe that's why the relationship ended or you came in separation because he wouldn't budge on something, maybe. Yeah, you see him as the person that destroyed this connection or destroyed this relationship, whatever it was. Um, you feel it was his his fault. But you feel that he's gained in wisdom in your separation. You, you can sense this energetically, I feel. I f you feel that he has gained in wisdom in this time apart. <clears throat> So what feelings does he have here? He does know that he is your Divine Masculine, okay? And he wants to become that, in that energy of the Divine Masculine. He wants to be that Divine Masculine that you deserve, okay? Yeah, he's he's got more awareness. And we've got the 11 number here as well. So this is possibly a twin fame connection here. He's becoming more aware, okay, <clears throat> of other things in the universe and, and about this connection, about you know, what his reason is for being here, okay? So let's get more um, awareness there. 
He does dream about his feminine a lot, okay? You're in his dreams. You may be connecting on the 5D with, it, with each other. Yeah, I feel he suffered with low self-esteem. He was possibly a people pleaser. He had a lack of self-worth. Okay. And he could have a... You, you feel this about him, that he's got a lot of pent-up rage or anger that he needs to release. These are feelings from his past, things that have happened to him in his life that he needs to resolve. So what would he like to happen next? Yeah, he'd like to have those lazy Sundays in bed with you, pleasuring each other. So he does want to get that full intimacy with you eventually. Because we've gone from flirting to pleasuring each other in bed. So he knows that he's got to put in the work here. Build up your self-esteem, self-love. So this is a message for both of you. <clears throat> when you're both in that energy of self-love and self-esteem, I feel is when you're magnetically attracting each other back in. And he wants you to meet close friends and family in the future. So he does want to make that um, future commitment, I feel, in this connection. So we're just going to get some additional messages. So what will happen next in this connection? So let's see what the tower I have to say. What will happen next in this connection, please? We've got the tower. I've got a tower moment coming in. So this could have already happened or this is going to happen, I feel, so that he does, you know, move forward in his life. I feel he's been very stuck and he wants, you know, he may not have that in him to move forward. So the divine will step in with this tower moment to shake things up in his life. Yeah, we've got the two of coins, so he needs to make a decision about what he wants. And we've got the Knight of Coins. So the Knight of Coins is that slow-moving energy, but it's solid energy. It's that energy of somebody that wants to come in and make that solid commitment. Okay? So it may be slow to come forward, but it does look like he does want to come forward here. Yeah, and we've got the Lovers. So I do feel he feels his soulmate connection as well. Okay? Or Twin Flame connection. He is feeling it as well. Yeah, he wants to come in and tell you the truth. You know, to have that clarity to clear the air you know he's been manifesting you back into his life with the seven of cups energy you know he's been dreaming about you he's been fantasizing about you he's been building up his financial resources and he's seen that you're financially independent as well okay so what other messages have we got here what might happen next Wow, we've got the Two of Cups. So there is definitely a want and a need here to exchange love, to exchange your cups of love with each other. You're both feeling it. You're both feeling that energy. So I'm going to get um, a rough time in. So I'm trying to get the cards. So when might you see each other or in what circumstance might you see each other again? So we've got I will visit, sex on the beach, cocktails, cocktails or sex, <laughs> and we've got wedding, wow. So it does look like he does want to commit here, okay, but obviously this is not an instant thing, this is going to take a bit of time, okay, so there is no timing issue, Let's see if there's a timing, we've got January. Okay, so you may reconnect in January, which isn't that far away. It may be before that. 
So let's get some advice from the angels. See if they've got any extra advice for you. We've got you ready. So it looks like you're both ready to move forward in this connection. So that's beautiful. So there are your messages, part one. Thank you for watching. Hello, part two. You chose the chakra bracelet. So how do you see each other at the moment? So this is a masculine, forgiving and learning. He's hoping that you can forgive him, okay, and heal the past because obviously what went down between you, he doesn't feel very good about it, but he's learning from this experience, okay? And he does feel that you could be the one for him, okay? He does feel that. Um, he feels that, you know, this is a divinely guided. We've got the angels here. So he does feel that you could be the one for him. So how does the feminine see him? Again, she's doing healing, you're doing healing. And there might be in a child healing to do here. You're forgiving your parents. There's some sort of family issue that you've got to deal with here. And you want to give the relationship a chance. You want to give him another chance. Okay, so how does he see his feminine? He sees you as somebody who's very determined in your life. Someone who's resolute in your convictions. He sees you as someone who's daring, who goes after what you want and you reach for the skies, basically. So you inspire him, you're a role model for him. He wants to have that unity with you, he wants to come together with you, okay? He finds you irresistible, you know, he finds you very alluring, very sexual, sensual, you know, he's very desirous of you okay so how do you see your masculine he could be a father already and he could have children with someone else he's you see him as a very loving kind caring supportive person and he's a humble person he's not arrogant he's a very thoughtful person and how else do you see him he's had fear you you feel that he's got fear of love a fear of loving again he had his heart broken before and he may have even told you this, he's got a fear of loving, he doesn't want to, he didn't want to open his heart again to love. But he's working on self-discovery right now and you, you're picking that up energetically, I feel. You know that he's on a voyage of self-discovery, if that makes sense. So how does he feel about the feminine? He sees you as a very sensitive person, okay, very empathetic. And you've been very supportive to him in the past. And he wants that romantic love with you, okay? He, he's feeling romantic feelings. And he does want to have that romantic love with you moving forward. And he's working on his shadow side right now, okay? And the feminine, you may be doing this as well. You're working on your dark side. You're facing your shadows, facing your fears, which is what he's doing. Yeah, I mean, I think when you were together, he was inauthentic. You could have both been wearing a mask, not being brave enough to be your true selves together. And he could be very stubborn, okay, very, you know, refused to barge on an idea or situation. And he's working on these issues right now. So what does he want to happen? He wants to talk to you again and really get to know you. He felt that intense spark and he wants to flirt with you again. And he wants to go on date nights, have fun evenings with you and your company. So start again, basically, from the beginning. And this came up in pile one as well, like a new beginning, like a fresh start. You know, to put the past behind you, draw a line under it and start again. So what will happen next in this connection? got the three of cups and I see that as some sort of celebration we've got ace of wands passionate new beginning eight of swords he could be feeling like this right now he's stuck you know he's choosing to, to remain stuck um, not looking not wanting to look not wanting to move forward we had that come up with a stubborn energy and one or both of you could have walked away from this connection before We've got nine of coins, so I feel he's working on his financial stability right now. 
And with the Five of Swords, I feel he was battling his inner uh, conflicts, you know, mind and heart. He's been overcoming that. He could see his feminine as the Queen of Swords. Um, you could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or you could be in that energy. He might feel you're, you're quite, you know, blunt in the way you speak. Maybe in the past you were quite blunt. He felt you cut him off. But he's in that King of Cups energy now. He's in touch with his feelings where he will be. And he wants you, the nine, nine of Cups, you are his wish fulfillment. And he wants to come forward, okay? He wants to contact you or come forward in the future. Because he wants to build something stable with you moving forward. He wants that stability moving forward here. So when might you reconnect? Let's get a time in here. We've got the springtime, we've got winter, so we're in winter now, within a week. We've got pregnancy news here, so some of you could get pregnant. A movie at my place, or a date at the park. So obviously take what resonates, okay? So for some of you it could be, you could hear from this person fairly soon. Um, for some of you it could be springtime, but again that's not that far away. Let's get some final guidance from the angels for you. What guidance have you got for this pile, please? We've got our short angels and remain positive. Okay, so connect with your guides, your angels for further assistance if you need it. But the main you know answer is to remain positive about this connection moving forward. Okay, so there are your messages, pile two. Thank you for watching.